Hey guys, welcome back. If you're a newbie, I'm Christina and this is what we're going to animate today. As usual, we start by preparing the file for animation. To do this, we need to put each object that we plan to animate in After Effects on a separate layer. Then we go to the After Effects and pre-compose some layers if they belong to the same object. As you see, all objects here have the same structure. They consist of a black dashed outline and a fill. Any ideas? So now we have a main scene with two shorter scenes in it. We have to turn each layer that contains the outline into a shape layer. It's easy to do. You right click on a layer, choose create, and then choose create shapes from vector layer. The vector layers that have been turned into shapes are no longer needed and I usually hide them. Then we reveal the outline using trim paths and animate the offset to create that constant movement. If the shape consists of several groups like here, then I go under group, stroke, dash and there are offset properties. This is what we want to animate. Do this with each group. Then I do the same exact manipulation with other outlines in other precoms, and when it comes to keyframes, I just copy them from previous objects. Doing this, I save a lot of time. To reveal the fills, I animate opacity from 0 to 100 and position. I don't like the way it looks here when yellow and blue semispheres move to their position, so I add a mask to this pre-comp. Now it looks much better to me. Any ideas? Now we move to the second scene and use the same technique. We convert all the vector outlines to shape layers, then we add trim paths and copy the keyframes from previous trim pass animation, and finally we reveal the fields animating their opacity and position. And as usual, in the end, we displace the layers a little so that they don't appear at the same time.
any ideas? Let's animate our plant. First, we need to change the position of the anchor points, because I wish the leaves to grow from the plant, not to suddenly appear in the air. Then I'll try several different numbers for wiggle expression and add a tiny little randomized rotation to the leaves. For the accent elements I'll also use wiggle expression. I'll add it to their rotation and position. Any ideas? Let's have a look at what we got here. I noticed that two accent elements actually intersect with some of the objects from the second scene, so I just moved them a little bit. Now the most exciting part! Let's create an interesting transition from one scene to another. First, let's move the anchor points of both scenes to the bottom. And then let's add a nice, wide, 180-degree rotation to both scenes, like so. Now we want the city to flip down and disappear. For that we need to create a track mat. In case you have this situation when part of the scene that should be gone already is still visible, then you need to reposition the anchor point again, move it a bit down. and make sure the motion blur is on. And the last thing I want to do here is a little animation of buildings. I want the buildings to jump up and then fall down. This precom should be also masked out, so that when the buildings fall down, they are not visible in our main comp. As usual, they should jump one after another, not all together. The most important thing here is timing. So I just move the keyframes a few frames back and forth until I find the perfect position, perfect timing.
I also create a new object, parent all layers to it and add a little zoom in, zoom out. Let's have a look at the result. This is it for today, guys. Give this video a juicy like if you enjoyed it and found useful. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you next time soon. Bye!